everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and today we are going to do another activity that uses uh, recycled paper bags. So, um, I, because I love to draw on brown paper, it just makes uh, a really cool um, thing. So, we're going to do positive words, things to um, play with on creating notes and just words of encouragement and you can make these and put them around the room you can do them big or little you, can put them, you know on a mirror on the corner of a mirror you can put them in your car if you have a car you can send them to a friend uh decorate a card with them just keep them in your pocket to help you remember to be positive and all of that good stuff. It's a perfect way to end uh, school vacation, last day of school vacation. Well, not really last day because it's the weekend. But uh, what I have is some clear glue. Um, I have some uh, decorative scissors, okay? So these are decorative scissors. Um, and um, I have uh, some white paper and I have colored pencils and some regular scissors. So, and uh, I have a couple of um, fine point Sharpie markers. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, I'm gonna do some coloring. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write um, some words. So what I'm gonna do is kind of make a block like this. And um, I'm going to color this one in, okay? So I'm coloring it in light uh, so that it's all colored in. And I love the, um, the, the, loose, or the brown paper um, background. I just love it. Um, instead of always drawing on white, um, we seem to have to have a lot of brown paper, whether it be packing paper or brown paper bags from the grocery store or whatever. Uh, nowadays, a lot more than we had before COVID uh, because uh, we were doing really good with recycling and repurposing and not using paper and plastics and stuff. And now we're throwing everything away, which is terrible. Uh, but that's another story. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to choose some colored pencils. So I have just kind of a block like that. And I'm going to do one that says um, dream, ooh, dream big. Okay. And I'm just going to write the letters. I'm going to make the sign. Dream like this. Like that. Okay, like that. do is, so I have one of my messages, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fine point marker and I am just going to make it look like maybe it's a sewing machine has stitched. So I'm doing little dashes and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. I'm going to do down the side. And it's just a way to decorate and make these encouraging words artistic because staying creative when we're all cooped up has been a good thing. So there we go, dream big. Okay, um, so I'm 
gonna do another one. I'm gonna do one with this, and I'm gonna do, it's circular. So I'm gonna make a circle. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna color the whole thing in because I really like the way the, um, the light background uh, helps make the, um, the words pop. So, let's see. What do I want to say? Can we think of any? Uh, let's see. Have courage. Um, do your best. Um, be kind. Have respect. Um, give respect. Get respect. Um, I like that one. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Uh, let's do, and I'm going to do it kind of curvy, this one. So I'm going to do, um, give respect. Give respect. really liked how oh, I'm gonna use this color I'm gonna I liked how the other one instead of dashes I'm gonna do I do a longer dash and two dots to decorate a long dash and two dots a long dash and two dots a long dash two dots a long dash two dots a long dash two dots These are just cool ways to highlight maybe the things that we are thinking or talking about or are hoping for. Um, lots of different things. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to color the heart in red. Okay. There's of that one. Give respect. Get respect. Dream big. Um, okay, so um, you can do a whole bunch of others, um, like uh, let's see, stay positive, um, choose happy, believe in yourself, um, smile because smiling makes you happy, and when someone smiles, they smile back. It's a little more difficult to see people smile, although you can see people smile through their mask with their eyes. Watch the eyes. Okay, so now the next step for this is to, to go ahead and I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to cut them out a little bit larger like this, okay? I'm gonna ooh, do a little bit of edge on there, like that. Okay, so that I have some of the, there is one of mine. Okay, and then I have a white, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little glue down. I'm gonna put a little glue, and I'm gonna glue this down spread that out so that it's nice and flat and goes over the whole thing so that every little bit gets glued down making a mess on the table okay and then I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna put it with some space so that I can cut them out okay so I'm going to cut this one, the circle one, out, same thing. I'm going to cut around like that. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so here, I'm going to use 
same thing. Gonna get a little glue on there. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here. Hi. And I am and I am going to put this right on here. And then what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and go right around the outside and it's kind of gonna make this look like a decorative faux stamp. And in my art journaling group, we have started doing these and I love this idea and I love encouraging all of you with positive words and perfect for the end of school vacation. Check that out. And here is another one right here, last one. And I want you all to continue to dream big and stay positive. And know that you can always reach out to someone for help if you need to, or encouragement, or to just cheer you on. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy.